Welcome to Untwisted, your source of tips and tricks when it comes to spinning yarn. So, you want your yarn to sparkle. You want the bling. You need the bling. Which bling do you buy? How much bling do you need? All the bling! But really, what's the difference between Firestar, Angelina, and Stellina anyway? Firestar is a type of nylon. It's a synthetic fiber. Parachutes, pantyhose, and toothbrushes are all made from types of nylon. It's an incredibly durable material. For Firestar in particular, the thermoplastic material is heated and extruded through pores in a commercial spinneret. Instead of producing a round fiber, the material takes on a trilobal shape, and that provides three flat surfaces for light to reflect off and give it its sparkle. Basically, that's a fancy way of saying it looks like a triangle if you cut through it. Firestar's sparkle tends to be gentler and a little more subtle than some of the other bling options. Such a strong fiber is a great add-in for anything that you want to bling up that will receive a lot of wear. Socks, anyone? I like to use around 10% Firestar for a blend to take advantage of the sparkle and the strength. Angelina is another synthetic fiber, and this one is sparkly as f This one is not extruded. Instead, it generally comes in either a straight cut or a crimp cut. Straight cut is going to offer the most bling for your buck, as there is a flat surface for light to reflect. The crimp cut will offer a little different texture and tends to be a little bit softer than the straight cut. The neat thing about Angelina is that it is heat bondable. This means when heat and pressure are applied, the Angelina will stick to itself. You can imagine uses well beyond spinning it into yarn. Also, a very little amount goes a long way. A general suggestion is about 2% in your blend. I'll be honest, like salt in cooking, I rarely measure it out. A pinch is a pinch is a pinch. But too much Angelina and you will be able to feel it in your blend. What about Stellina? Stellina can be tricky to source. It can sometimes be labeled as Angelina too. Stellina is another synthetic fiber. Again, are you seeing a pattern here? But this one is usually a little bit thinner than Angelina. It also tends to have a distinctly metallic appearance. And the main difference is that it is not heat bondable. They often look similar, and if you're not sure which one it is, apply heat to see if it sticks to itself. But if you're looking for that metallic sparkle, this is it. Like Angelina, around 2% will do it for a blend. Now, if you're a brave soul, you can include all three in your yarn. You can never have too much sparkle, am I right? Thank you for watching Untwisted. You can find more information at luthvarian.com. And please do me a favor, can you hit that subscribe button in the lower right below the video and click the bell next to it so you get updates when I post a new video? I want to make it as easy as possible for you to find these tips. Thank you.